Fun fact, everything that we are trying today predates the Confederation of Canada. Everything is older than our own country, which is just so crazy. Good morning from beautiful Rome. <laughs> After a very long, almost 24 hour travel day, see a link in the description below for that video, <laughs> we have made it to Rome, gotten some much needed rest, and now we're getting ready to explore the city. I know as we've been traveling, we keep saying, this is our favorite place, but Italy really, excuse you, Italy really truly is. It also holds a lot of sentimental value to us because four years ago, we actually got married in Italy. So it's so special to be back here, to celebrate our anniversary, and to be back here with our little baby. Who'd have thunk four years later, we would be back here living the dream. For those of you that have ever heard of the Enneagram before, when I say I'm a three, you know what that means. But for those of you that haven't, Three is called the achiever, and so everywhere I go, I need some semblance of a goal. So I figured, as we were touring through Rome, what better way than to set ourselves up with a bit of a challenge. So, today, we're gonna hit what I'm calling the Roma. The seven most important food and beverage combinations that you need to have while you're visiting Rome. They are espresso, cappuccino, you can choose whatever you want. Pastries, pasta, pizza, wine, gelato, and to top it all off, an Aperol Spritz. So that's our goal for today. We'll see if we can conquer all seven. I think it's gonna be a tall task, but we're up for it. Okay, but before we do that, there's just a casual orchestra playing in the middle of the Piazza Navano. So let's go look at that. In case you missed it in our last video, this is Brittany. We're traveling with her for the next little bit as we eat our way through Rome today. Just know we are under the supervision of a medical professional. Uh, Brittany is a registered dietitian, so uh, we should be good. We're good to go. <laughs> First stop of the day. Fun fact, everything that we are trying today predates the Confederation of Canada. Oh, Canada! Everything is older than our own country, which is just so crazy. So the cappuccino actually came from Vienna in the 18th century, but in Italy, the espresso machine was created in 1850s, I believe. So the cappuccino in the Italian style started in the 19th century, and oh, it's so delicious. It's equal parts foam and equal parts espresso, and it's just, just such a treat. You agree? <laughs> Bit of a correction on that last one. A cappuccino is equal parts espresso, milk, and foam. If there's anything that we've learned traveling with Clara is that we really don't need to pack any toys. She'll just entertain herself with pretty much anything. <laughs> Looks like someone's enjoying breakfast. <laughs> Fun facts about drinking espresso in Italy. You actually save a couple of euros having your espresso at the bar instead of at a table, and it tastes just as good. And with that, we have checked off the first two of our seven. Coffee, check. Pastries, check. Now we have to head back to Airbnb so Claire can have a bit of a nap. So, see you there. Clara is now rested. We've booked some other things for the rest of this trip, and I am so hungry and so excited to move on to the next part of our list, an Aperol spritz and some pizza. More pasta and wine. Really, it can be any of the options. We just need to knock off some more because it's already like 4 p.m. Brittany went out for a walk while Clara was snoozing, so now we're gonna go find her so we can all eat together. <laughs> By the fountain. There we go. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. So do you remember me? Been all over the world now. Been more countries than I've been to. 
So we have some new friends joining us all the way from Canada. They just arrived today, like two, two hours ago. They're definitely super jet lagged. This is Jared, Megan. They're way funnier than we are. So uh, if you want to see them in more videos, like let's go get some food. So as we're taking on this Roma challenge, we have item number three. Aperol Spitzies. Cheers. 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 This is my first one ever. <laughs> Yay. Now, Jared and Megan just arrived. It's like four o'clock, but they have been challenged to take on the Roma with us. So it looks like we're going to have to add a second little subcategory just for Jared and Megan to see if they can accomplish the Roma in less than eight hours. Cumulative. Between the two of them. Between the two of them. Okay, fine. What's, what's in this though? <laughs> So this Aperol Spritz is Prosecco, Aperol, and soda. So it's an aperitivo. So the Italians do this to break up their work day and move into the evening. It's usually a every lower... Day? I don't know if they do it every day. I mean, hopefully. That sounds pretty good. But it's a lower alcohol cocktail. So it's you're not going crazy. Because it's often not with a lot of food. But still always snacks. Italians don't drink without food. There you go. Learn some every day. It's good. Ryan and I love spritzes so much, we actually named our company after them. Fun fact. And their baby. <laughs> the legal name is Spritz. It's not clear. That was delicious. I checked off Spritz and pasta. Victoria checked off. Spritz and pizza. Jared and Megan checked off spritz, pizza, <laughs> pizza and pasta. Now it's time to go get some espresso because these guys are tired and I have an addiction. Have Let's go. Wave to your subjects. beyond just the food is that you walk down these streets and what looks like an unassuming brick building is one of the most insanely one of the most insanely stunning cathedrals the intricacy of the carvings and the beautiful artwork it's just absolutely mind-blowing Stopped into this perfumery because we were curious and we are having this the most one, incredible experience. This and bunny. Very, very different from all the others that we tried so far. It's an incense and we call this one the incense of Roman church. Oh. I was keeping track, but <laughs> my attempts have been foiled. So one of the things Victoria said as she was smelling them is just yeah. how pure the scents of these are. You know, someone will randomly tell you, oh, it kind of smells like this or that. And it's like, yeah, maybe. These are the most perfect smelling scents I have ever smelt in my entire life. And then you put something else, blah, 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 yeah. and you're gonna have like that smell. Okay. Like, got the goods. Oh. Claire is playing with the camera. <laughs> went hunting for espresso and gelato and ended up with some lovely <laughs> Italian essence Laura. We still need the espresso because I'm starting to get tired. Still has it. <laughs> We are energized, and Jared and Megan have now checked off espresso from the Roma. <laughs> Jared, Jared is vibing. He hates coffee, he drank the whole thing. Climb, go, 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 go. <laughs> and again, this is why we did not bring any toys to Italy. Oh, what does that feel like? Oh, 
Megan was telling us that to find a good gelato place, you can't see the gelato in the cases. It doesn't have all the fancy stuff all over it. And that's how you know it's good. And this place seems to fit the bill. It's all good. Clara's always happy too, because she gets a little cookie. And with that, we are all one step closer to finishing the Roma. Gelato time. Cheers. Piazza Navona is the same place that we were this morning where we were seeing the orchestra playing. It's one of our favorite spots in Rome. It's so beautiful and it's unique because it's a big oval shape. And it's an oval because it actually used to be a stadium, which is crazy interesting. And now it's this incredible square, lots of street artists and performers lined with restaurants and shops. And it's so pretty, especially at this time of night. <laughs> Earlier we said that Jared and Megan were going to accomplish the Roma cumulatively. And I just want to know, Ryan, if we can do it cumulatively because I don't know if I could go for an entire dish of pasta right now. The answer to that question is emphatically no. We will be doing the Roma alone or we will not be doing the Roma at all. Okay. I love tears. Oh, well, we have made it to what at this point has to be the last spot we're going. We have consumed so much food. I still have pizza and wine left. Victoria has pasta and wine. I think we're all gonna do it. Dude, it's been a bit of a marathon still. day. <laughs> Cheers! Really yummy. Mm -hmm. We just learned after Googling that salute is the formal way of saying cheers and chin chin is the informal. So, chin chin. <laughs> <laughs> I think I made a mistake in choosing this pizza. It is huge with so much cheese and so much meat. I might not be finishing the Roma tonight. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We want some? This is my new favorite. Very good. Cacio e pepe. It's pecorino cheese, which I have known as my favorite since our wedding in Italy. And then they just put pepper on it. Something that's so fantastic about Italian cooking is is that it's so simple and so delicious. It does not have to be fancy in order to be some of the best food in the world. You did it? I don't know whether I'm happy or very sad to say. I'm done. Crusts don't count. Victoria is- Tapping out. So <laughs> close to finishing. Waving the light. And yet she's going to fail. <laughs> no, it's a surrender, not a fail, thank you. The other three? Is there tiramisu in your future? Yes, tiramisu. Oh, hey guys. Did you, did you well, where am I? <laughs> I'm resting my eyes. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. Tiramisu is my favorite dessert of all time. And I'm so overtired. And it's my last thing on the Roma. The Roma! Here comes the airplane. <laughs> mm. And with that, all five of us, all five of us have completed the Roma. It was a bit of a slog. I can't even imagine how Jared and Megan are feeling right now. They did it in like five hours, but it has been an amazing time in Rome. Tomorrow we hop on a train and head to Florence and we're joined by all of our amazing friends again. Yay, see you next time. Bye. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs>